Welcome to Living the Silver Life Home and Garden. Silver Life. Okay, Home and Garden. I'm Edith. How are you? It's Christmas. My favorite season of the year. So, as you can see, I already did this tree. But I'm going to try. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize in advance. First, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome to everybody that stopped by the channel that's watching, that came by to see me and came to check out what I'm doing. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for those that have subscribed. I thank you. Thank you for those that just watch and don't subscribe. Thank you to everybody. I'm happy. Thank you. So, listen. I had this great idea for my Christmas tree to do a crystal tree. Uh huh. And um, so I started buying crystal on Amazon like a long time ago, like back in, I don't know, maybe late spring, early summer, if not before that. But I'm pretty sure I know I was buying it in the summer, and um, and then I, and then I started looking at crystal trees, and I started thinking, it's uh, going to be boring and it's going to be heavy, because I wasn't buying the acrylic crystal, which is actually plastic. I was buying actual crystal. <laughs> and it's actually heavy so then I when I started doing I bought all this crystal I have it now and um, I have to use it I used it in my tree in different ways but I'm going to show you a couple of them that I have hold on wait one minute okay so uh, one of them that I put on this tree it's right there, but you can't see it. I'll, I'm going to show you the tree. And no, I didn't do... I didn't do the decorate with me for the tree. It was an accident. <laughs> I had an accident. So I was looking at it, and I put it... I got my husband to take it out of the shed, and I was fluffing it. And then I was putting it up. And then... I don't know. <laughs> I said, oh, I need to put the lights on because my tree doesn't have lights on it. This is an old tree. It's about at least five years old, maybe six, but at least five years old. And uh, I think it may be six. But anyway, it's a flock tree, whatever flock is left. Because, <laughs> you know, the flock falls off every year. And, um, and it wasn't expensive. I got it at Walmart. It's an eight, eight and a half foot tree. I got it at Walmart. I ordered it online. And uh, I don't know. It, um, it didn't look. I always have to fix it to make it look really pretty. So I don't mind fixing it because I, didn't, I don't want to buy another tree. Okay, let me just say. I know people have a lot of trees and they buy trees every year and trees go viral. Mm -mm. In the civil life, some people in the civil life probably do do that. I don't. I think that's a waste of money. And um, the only other tree I might look at would be a, just a green tree. But I don't really like green trees because I don't get the look that I want. <laughs> so, I always fix it <laughs> the way I want it. So I have to have a lot of things. But let's show you the first thing that I got was um, these. These are called uh, sun catchers. I got this kind. And I, I love the color of it. Can you see all the color in it? So pretty, right? And very heavy. <laughs> and... This one is shaped like, see the bottom of it? Uh, can you see how it's shaped on the bottom? 
Now, who's going to look at it that close? Nobody. In the shape, but it's it's called a sun catcher, and I don't know what other people use it for. And no, I'm not in some kind of a religion. No, I'm a born again Christian. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I love the Lord with my whole heart, body, soul. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm not in any kind of weird religion. I don't believe the crystal will do anything. I think they're just pretty. <laughs> so I got this one. It's like a teardrop. See it? Oh, it's so pretty. Look at that. It would look pretty on a spinner. It's too heavy for a spinner. This is really heavy. This is like a rock. <laughs> Literally like a small rock. Very pretty small rock for the rock. Okay, so then once I actually started taking them all out and looking at them, and I was doing that a lot, and then I thought about it, I said, uh, that's going to be too heavy for a tree if you put a whole lot of them on there. And I have a, quite a few. I, I, I could have got some faux ones, I, su I suppose, but um, I didn't think about that. And they actually have four ones in uh, Hobby Lobby that I noticed that people got. And I was like, oh, I should figure something out. But then I started thinking, the crystal is just, crystal by itself is going to be boring. So then I started going in a different direction. <laughs> and I know that, and then I was trying to, I was going to add the crystal in anyway. And I was going to build on what I already had. And I know that I had these beautiful leaves here. I've used them before. And uh, these. Um, and this is kind of a, a wine burgundy color. It's a wine purplish color. I don't really know what you call this color. But, ah, oh, it's so pretty. And I, and I was like, well, I could use those. Then I tried to figure out, well, what, what, what are you going to use with it? And so then I remembered that I had uh, faux, where are they? I can't find it. <laughs> oh, here's one like this. I have to sew, you know, these like this, but I had some that has uh, more of a um, blinky kind of things on it. I have these, I have, and I have them from last year. And then I have a lot of other ones that are in this color. So then I bought these. So I could have some of a different color. And these are kind of like mauve color. The dusky rose color. Which I like these. Uh, I didn't use them on the tree. <laughs> I'm going to use them in a different way. But I, I didn't use them on the tree. But I have some um, things that are that color. I had some. So then I went to the ribbon. Sometimes ribbon hips. So I have this organza. Look at this. This is our wired organza. And uh, I got this. Ordered this from Amazon also. Back in the summer. I, I'm already finished shopping pretty much. By the time. Uh, end of September it came. First part of October. I got a few things. I got a couple of candles and things like that, but I was pretty much done. So, so I got these. So this look cute. So I put some of these on there, uh, some ribbon like this, and then I had a lavender ribbon, a purple ribbon last year, really deep purple. But this time I got this. Lavender, kind of a dusty lavender color. They call this, it's a, called a rosy mauve. And this, I remember this. Can you see it? It looks like what we used to call crushed velvet. 
Y'all like my new glasses? They match my uh, decor. <laughs> also, my shirt. Let me show you my shirt. Hold up. My shirt. Okay, my shirt explains everything that I'm trying to do on my tree. All the color. See the color? Shades of pink, lavender, silver, and then it looks like a disco ball. <laughs> uh, gold, silver. There you go. That's what I did. <laughs> That's what I did for my tree. So, those are the colors that I'm going with on my tree. So, this has silver, platinum silver on this side, and it's like a crushed velvet on this side. This ribbon is two and a half inches, which is great. And so, and the wire is really good, so, you know, I did a lot of these kind of things. And what I did was I made bows are in this year. Bows are the thing. Bows are everywhere. Big bows, little bows, tiny bows, ginormous bows, bows. So I, I find the tail. This is going to be the tail. And then I make a big loop because I want it to be a floppy bow. So then I pinch it right here. And then I twist it. And then I, while I'm twisting it, I straighten it all out. And then I try to see and measure it and make sure it's the same size like this. And then when it, it flops, I want it to flop because I'm going to take the end and curl it up, you know, roll it up, twist it up move it you know like that and so i did this on i made two loops on both sides so four big loops that's so i put bows on it make this okay and the organza i put them on there together i'm going to actually show you the um picture the not picture the the tree I have some pictures I'm going to show you also, but I'm going to show you the tree because I know it's confusing. I'm sorry. It's, and it's dark in here because now it's getting late and it's been raining all day for two days. And so now it's really dark. Let's see. I hope this don't disturb you. Is that better? Okay. That's better. So then that I got that and then I had um, to help the tree I had these sparkly ones from last year and I had these from last year these pigs so I put these pigs in also so that's two three different kind of pigs and then I got these you see these these are pink pomegranates oh they so pretty I don't know what's going on with the camera I'm sorry <laughs> I got these pink pomegranates and um so I put those in also in different places and uh so that's one, two, three, four different kinds of picks I put in before I put on anything else. I, and I had the lights. But then I decided, oh, I don't have enough light. I had like, see, I think I had put on 100, maybe 700 lights, regular lights. And um, and it looked, light, looked like enough light, but once I did it, it wasn't enough. But then I remembered that I had these twinkle lights. Um, these. 
These came from Amazon. These are string lights. These were six these are six hundred LED lights and it's hundred and sixty eight feet. Well, I had put the ornaments on some of the ornaments on some I had put the <laughs> I had put all kinds of things on here already. <laughs> I had put a few crystals on it. And then I decided to put this on. Well, that was a problem. But I got them on there. But I only needed one box. This is the extra box. I had bought two. I bought them in the summer. I bought them in the summer because I figured that the lights that I had last year, lights don't always last. And when one of them breaks sometimes, a lot of them, I don't like to go through that. So I make sure I have some lights. Okay, so then I have that going. And then, um, to help give it some more light in it, I found these pigs that I had in my stash from last year. They came from Hobby Lobby. It says on here they were $2.99, but I'm sure I got them at 50% off. But I had a whole lot of them because I had, I had, a, I had a lot of, uh, fern, these silver glittered ferns is just getting everywhere. Um, I've had some that I got from Dollar Tree for years, so I just started poking those in in different places. <laughs> when you see it, you'll understand what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. And then, um, oh, but I did buy these, y'all. Aren't these pretty? Oh, man. Hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, this is uh, the main thing that got the whole thing started. It's about the storm in my area. It's getting really dark. I got to finish this video. <laughs> Um, so I bought this, this is the first piece of, first crystal that I bought. It's so beautiful. It's, you know how Rebecca Rosen had that little chandelier, uh, Christmas ornament that she got from a, a, one of her subscribers that live in England? And now you can find that little chandelier everywhere, but I saw this. Oh, look at it. Isn't it that beautiful? So, my idea was to put this in my tree. So, when I bought one, then I decided to buy another one. And I instead of buying one more I bought two more and I my idea was I was going to put it on the, in the middle and one down low on each side this is heavy <laughs> uh, I don't think that's a good idea <laughs> this is heavy along with all the other uh, things that I put on there and I needed something to kind of balance it and put my uh, mercury glass um, ornaments on the back to kind of balance it. But I couldn't find them. So now I had all of these. So I'm actually thinking I might put the other uh, crystal on the back to help kind of balance it. The last thing I want though is for my tree to fall over. As I put in all the work to put it together, and then it falls over. I, I don't want that. I was also thinking about, and this was, I'm going to talk to my husband about this, putting a uh, wire um, or a piece of rope, tying it like middle ways on the tree, and then to the actual pole in the back, and then get uh, one of his weights. 
this 30 pound weight and tie it to that 30 pound weight to put it on the floor. That'll hold it up, right? <laughs> you know, like they do trees outside when they put them in a uh, stake them up. It'll be just from one side, though. I'm going to ask him about that because I really like this one. Or I'm going to actually put this on, a, on the fireplace. I could put it on the fireplace and stop all the nonsense. <laughs> but that's it. That is um, most of the things I got for my tree. I got a new angel. She's up there. I'll show it to you when I... Um, and of course, I put the... I had a new angel on. I put the uh, wall decor back on my tree for uh, the topper because I actually like that look. So, I won't take it down. <laughs> I've used it for like three years in a row. Maybe four. But at least three. Three years in a row. And um, other than that, I just used, um, you know... Little 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 ornaments and little things that I have. But I'm going to go through the and I'm going to show it to you. And I'll tell you where I got it from if I bought it in the store. And if I didn't buy it in the store, it was like something I had. I'll let you know that too. How's everybody doing? I hope you're okay. We've had a lot going on in the last, you know, few weeks, months, last year. <laughs> must say the last months from summer to now it's been really kind of hectic in uh, in america i hope everybody's doing okay i hope you're um you have somebody that can encourage you and if you don't i want you to know that i'm praying for you and there are other people that pray that are praying for you we all praying the praying people are praying one for another okay we're praying and um some maybe Maybe I think I, if it's uh, everything is getting to be a little too much, just step away from it for a little while. Do something fun, like decorate a tree. <laughs> decorate the fireplace. Make a, a a vignette on the coffee table. Do something fun to get your mind off of whatever it is that's disturbing you right now. And it is the holiday season, and a lot of people have a hard time. They struggle during the holiday season. I say this every year because it's really true. And um, I understand it because I lost my mother um, a week, 11 days, wait a minute, nine days before Christmas. And we lost my mother-in-law November 1st about six years ago so it's a hard time because the holidays are coming and then you start thinking about it so a lot of people are having a hard time so be a carriage I'm praying for you and if you don't celebrate Christmas do something else it doesn't matter you do something that you like that makes you feel good and pray that always works okay I'm done I'm going to let you see the tree. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments. And if you like this content and all the crazy wackiness that's going on in my life, <laughs> subscribe to the channel. I got more wackiness going on. My theme is Elegant Whimsy. Okay? Elegant Whimsy. So when it starts looking wacky, it's because... I, I want it to be a fun and whimsical this year. More whimsical than ever. I'm just that kind of person anyway. But I like elegance and I want it to be whimsical. Okay? Alright. And I'm not to my savior. You're going to see that too. Alright. Bye. I love you.
in there so you can manipulate it anyhow you want it. 